Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. In today's video, we'll share some tips to help you maximize your grooming routine while helping to minimize your excess baggage while traveling. <laughs> And when you're packing for a trip, you'll often wonder, do I need this? Determining essentials can be especially difficult when working with grooming products. You want all the products you're accustomed to, but you don't necessarily want to pack your entire bathroom. Now, restrictions like weight allotments and prohibitions on certain products when traveling by air can complicate matters even further. In today's video, we'll share some of our top tips to ensure you can carry out your normal grooming routine when traveling abroad, all while packing as efficiently as possible. Now, we've covered packing several times on this channel. In these videos, Raphael makes suggestions for packing carry-on luggage and checked luggage respectively. And here, he covers essential items for business trips. And in this video, I share some tips on how to avoid looking like a tourist when you get where you're going. Today, we'll focus on how to pack grooming items to help you save space without compromising your regimen. Now, the first half of our video will be general tips to help you decide what you do and do not need. And in the second half, we'll explain how to help you best pack what you decide to bring. Now, whether you travel often or only on occasion, we think everyone will find something useful in this video. Now, our first tip, is to plan ahead. Have realistic goals for what you're going to need on this trip. All the essentials you're going to need, but no excess that will just slow you down. Now, many packing videos or lists will encourage you to pack as few items as possible. But if you're going on an important business trip or taking a much needed vacation, it's important that you have access to whatever you're going to truly need to help you feel comfortable and enjoy yourself. So rather than focus on how to pack as few items as possible, try to focus on packing exactly what you need. Think about your daily grooming regimen. What items beyond essentials like toothpaste or soap do you actually use? For instance, does your hair type require or do you prefer a particular kind of hair conditioner or shampoo? Or can you make do with what's available for free at the hotel? Or do you forego shampooing entirely? In most cases, you can dispense with quality of life items when traveling. Potential usefulness does not outweigh the trouble of having to pack them. So as great as the back scrubber or pore steamer from our Better Hygiene Products video at home might be, you probably don't need them with you when traveling. Remember that whatever you decide to bring or leave at home, there are no wrong answers. It all depends on what your hair and skin type require and what you're going to need to feel well and put together. And when making these choices, be sure to consider how long you're traveling. Now, trip duration is probably one of the biggest things to consider when preparing your grooming essentials. Now, if you're only going to be gone for a weekend, you might not need to pack shampoo or conditioner. Now, you can do this by timing your hair care routine, by doing everything before and not during your trip. But for a longer trip, you'll probably need more supplies so you can keep up with your routine. Now we'll cover a few essentials we think you should definitely take with you. Now while there's a great deal of leeway when it comes to some grooming tools, others are essential, both for your comfort and for the comfort of those around you. That's why we highly recommend having access to the following. Toothpaste, toothbrush, and floss. Take conventional, not an electric toothbrush, deodorant or antiperspirant. Consider sticks, you can put it in your carry-on and you can reapply as needed. And next, body wash. Bar soap is your best bet, especially when stored in a soap box. Just make sure you drain out any water before you fly. But some of the newer designs are leak proof. Hair care and styling products. A metal comb will have the greatest utility. An electric shaver. Just make sure you bring the proper socket converters if needed. Otherwise, the result could be a bit shocking. Next, a moisturizer. Try to find something with an SPF of at least 30, or else you may want to at least bring sunscreen as well. Lip balm. Now, if you don't want dry skin, you definitely don't want dry lips. Talcum powder. A convenient way to keep dry and reduce odors. Next, a cleanser. Also, a manicure set. According to Murphy's Law, you're more likely to suffer a cracked nail or a splinter when you don't have access to a nail file or tweezers. Just make sure it's approved for airline use, like our set here from Fort Belvedere. Next, binder clips. To prevent unwanted razor nicks when reaching into your wash bag. Ziploc bags. Great for separating dirty laundry or from wet and spillable items from getting onto things that you don't want to get wet or spilled on. We recommend getting a multi-pack with variable sizes. Now that we've covered what to pack, we'll explain how best to pack it. Shrinking container sizes is convenient for all travel and usually mandatory for air travel. One way to do this is by decanting the contents of larger containers into smaller containers. Decanting can be enchanting. Did Preston write these subheadings? <laughs> In 
Anyway, if you try to pack the full size bottle of your grooming products, you'll quickly run out of room. And if you're flying, they'll just end up in an airport trash can, courtesy of the TSA. Many popular products like shampoo, hair gel, or lotion are sold in travel size containers. But no, these travel size containers are often quite expensive, costing two, three, or even four times more. If you travel quite often and money isn't an object, you might invest in travel size versions of these various products. But with just a little time invested, you can save a considerable amount of money and space in your bag by decanting these products yourself. You can buy generic travel size bottles and fill them at home. Just make sure you purchase quality containers with crack resistant materials and tops with tight grooves on the caps. This will help you avoid leaks and spills. You may even have suitable bottles around your house. Just make sure they abide by local air travel rules. And for the TSA, all liquids, gels, creams, or pastes must be in 3.4 ounce bottles or 100 milliliters or smaller when traveling. And for decanting, you'll want to use a mini funnel. Now you can buy one for a couple of dollars. It will make the process much easier and it's definitely worth the investment. And you can also get sets on Amazon that contain both the mini bottles and the mini funnels. Low and medium viscosity liquids like shampoo, conditioner, serum, cleanser, hair gel, moisturizer, or mouthwash. These can all be easily decanted into smaller bottles. And using the smaller bottles won't adversely affect their functionality. The products like toothpaste, cologne, contact lens solution, and deodorant. These are all nearly impossible to decant. Or they're just much harder to use without their proper applicators. Now, if you travel often or space is at a premium, it might be worth the investment to get multi-packs for, for things like travel size deodorant or toothpaste. But if you don't travel often and space isn't an issue, the full size version is fine. For products with spray or drip applicators like cologne or contact lens solution, there is an added cost of buying a smaller travel size item just to justify the ease of use. So buy travel size or bring the full size if it's allowed by your air travel guidelines. And guess what? That's not the only way to save space. You can also try to bring some of those fragrance samples you have lying around. Next, use multifunctional products. A great way to avoid bringing multiple products is to bring one product that does multiple things. Like a Swiss Army knife of brewing. But just please don't bring a Swiss Army knife on a plane. Now products like these aren't ideal for everyday use, but when traveling, they do save a lot of space. Vaseline is a great lip balm to counteract recirculated airline air. Apply a thin layer where you spray your cologne and it will help maintain the aroma longer. Now we usually shy away from combination shampoo, body wash, and conditioners, but cutting the number you need by a third is pretty helpful. And you might wanna check out this top selling offering from American Crew. And many facial soaps and conditioners also double very well as shaving soaps. Consider this olive and tangerine moisturizing soap from Nasty Dante. Now for the ultimate and multi-use soap, there's the Utility Bar from Beard Brand. This jack of all trades can be used as a body wash, face cleanser, shampoo, shaving soap, and a beard wash. Now if you decide to bring male cosmetics to even out your complexion or to cover blemishes, you could bring foundation, concealer, or powder. Or you could use a product that does all of these things, like this beautifying balm from Lab Series, or this tinted moisturizer from Sturx. And if you'd like to learn more about male cosmetics, check out our video here. You can avoid having to manage liquid product restrictions by focusing on dry and solid products instead. Use solid products when feasible. As mentioned, bar soaps are much easier to pack than body washes. And there are some products you might want to consider in their solid form. Dry shampoo, for instance, is very popular because it's easy to pack and you can use it on the go. Amica offers a spray-on variety that comes in a travel size. While this version from Redken comes in a powder form. Now, similarly, a volumizing styling powder is much easier to pack than a hair gel. Now, this offering from Billy Floof comes in a light and dark hair variety. And blotting sheets will allow you to quickly cleanse your face, and you won't even need access to a water source to do it. You can also use wet wipes for your face and your body in general. Of course, investing in all these travel alternatives can get a bit pricey. So when possible, take advantage of anything you can get for free. Get freebies where you can. Now, most hotels and rental lodging do offer some free items. Usually everything you're going to need for a shower and toothpaste as well. And airlines, if you fly first or business class, do offer whole toiletry kits. Now, if you're content to use these products and you know they're going to be available, feel free to not bring your own and use theirs instead. And most hotels will provide you with more if you run out. 
Now, if you especially enjoy a product, consider asking for a few and use them as part of your travel grooming kit. On that note, whenever you get miniature versions of products, especially as samples, consider saving them for your trips. For instance, at regular dental visits, you might get a toothbrush, toothpaste, dental floss, and mouthwash. They're the perfect size for travel. At the mall or fragrance stores, you may regularly be able to receive samples of fragrances. And it's even possible to receive a specific sample of your favorite cologne if you ask for it. You can also get free sample sizes of certain products like body wash, conditioner, contact solution at department stores or other retailers. Now, once you've gotten your products packed, you want to make sure that they're separated and not leaking on your other items. Here's how. Avoiding leaks and spills. Now, when you fly, changes in air pressure can cause the air in bottles to expand. Now, this can force the liquids in the bottles out. So when filling your containers, fill them up as much as possible. Use all the product before returning home and refill any partially used bottles before traveling again. You can also add extra layers of protection. Cover the mouths of containers with plastic wrap and then screw the tops back on to prevent leaking. And consider wrapping any products that might leak in a plastic bag just in case. Now for protection and organization, we recommend that you store most of your grooming products in a dot bag. Dops are the tops. Now invented by and named after the German American craftsman, Charles de Belt, the dot bag will help keep you organized. The dot bag is often also called a toiletry kit. Now this bag provides a barrier between your grooming items and the rest of your luggage in case of spills. And as an organizational tool, the dot bag keeps you on track when it comes to tight packing. It should be able to fit into your usual checked bag easily. You'll also want it to be lightweight for maximum portability. Go with a durable lightweight fabric like nylon or canvas. Now leather may look better, but it's also much heavier. The dot bag lets you organize. It has pockets, dividers, and sections that make it much easier to pack when traveling. And because you'll know exactly where everything is, it greatly reduces the hassle of flying. And you also want a dot bag that fits your needs. See if you can fit all of your grooming essentials in that bag. Now, if they don't fit, you'll either need to pare things down or a lot more space. You can also repurpose a bag you already own as a dot bag, as Raphael has done. Finally, if you travel fairly often, it might make sense to have a regularly stocked dot bag at the ready. And when packing for a trip, your bag will already be ready to go, saving you time from having to pack and unpack it each time. Think of it like your grooming go bag. Hopefully you're not going on a trip because you're wanted by the law. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? And finally, don't worry, they have stores abroad too. Generally speaking, it may always be more cost effective to pack than to rather purchase grooming essentials when you reach your destination. But if you're worried about weight and space, it may be more convenient, if not more expensive, to buy certain items once you reach where you're going. Especially cheap utilitarian toiletries like bar soap, toothpaste, floss, mouthwash, generic shampoos, and deodorant, or items that carry on restrictions prohibit on planes. We're thinking especially of blades for your razor, if you prefer to use one. Now, if you're planning to do this, make sure you schedule time for your trip to the store upon arrival. Now, this also applies to anything you forgot to pack. Now, unless you're climbing the Andes Mountain or planning on trekking in the Gobi Desert, chances are if a city has an airport, it also has a store. A store where you can buy toothpaste, deodorant, and shampoo. Like convenience stores, big box stores, and grocery stores. Now, depending on where you are, you can also buy more specialty products but you'll want to avoid getting anything too expensive unless you plan on bringing it back with you. Also, it's important to be mindful of where you are going. Certain products, like particular hair care supplies, might not be available in foreign markets. And if there's anything that you have that you know you just can't live without, double check before departure to make sure that you've packed it. But to ensure you don't forget anything, we've included a grooming items checklist in the description box below. Feel free to add or to subtract from it as needed. And if possible, do your packing on your bed or on a large table or flat surface where you're able to keep organized and see what's going on. And with that, you're ready for your next big trip. Now today I'm wearing a purple polo from Hugo Boss, khaki trousers, brown belt, and brown dress shoes, and finishing it off with my Fort Belvedere brown shadow stripe socks. Check out the Fort Belvedere shop here for socks like these. <laughs>